Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, and today we're gonna to talk about how to install Parallels as well as a Windows operating system to your Mac. Now, a lot of our customers purchase Windows 11 Pro to run on their Mac using Parallels. So before we jump in, let's just run through a couple of the features and some navigation tips, and then we'll get started. Okay, so this is the Parallels homepage. Um, just a little bit of information here. So we can run more than 200,000 Windows applications on Mac, including Microsoft Office. Download and install Windows OS on your Intel or Apple M series Mac computer. So basically what that means is that if you have one of the newer MacBook Pros that have the Apple M1 or M2 chips, this is gonna work for that. And we can seamlessly copy and paste text, drag and drop files between our Mac and Windows systems. So just a couple more features here. Now I already have Parallels currently installed and really quick I'm just gonna kinda show you guys what it looks like and how to navigate through. So this is what the home page of Windows 11 looks like and as you can see it comes pre-installed with a handful of applications, one of them being Microsoft Edge which is a browser. So we can browse the internet, we can use the Windows button, pull up all of our preferences and different applications and whatnot. And you can easily switch between this and your regular Mac operating system. Uh, here's a couple ways to do that. One way is just to leave this out of full screen and we'll click into any of our applications on our dock. So if I go back into Google Chrome and then I can just as easily go back into Parallels desktop. Of course, I can always use the yellow minimize button here and just get back to my standard Mac system. And another way is to have this in full screen. And there's a feature on Mac where if you use four fingers to swipe on your touchpad, it'll bring you back to a page that is not in full screen. So just a couple of quick ways to navigate between your Windows and Mac operating systems. And if you've been kind of running around your Mac for a little bit and you go back into this, sometimes it will say it'll, it'll have a play button. And basically you just hit that and it'll load you right back into Windows. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the installation process. First step is that you're going to head to your browser of preference and you're going to navigate to this link right here. We'll put it on the screen. Assuming you have already purchased Parallels, you're going to be prompted with a page that says thank you for purchasing Parallels. And so the first step is that we're just going to click download Parallels desktop. And once you do that, you'll get a .dmg file. So we're just gonna navigate to our Finder application. We're gonna go to Downloads. And then from there, we're gonna open up this .dmg Install Parallels Desktop. We're gonna double click on Install Parallels Desktop and then we'll press Open. If you're on an older version of Mac, you might have to command click or two finger click to get this prompt right here that we're seeing now where it says Open Show Web Page. Uh, this is typical with Macs, but on the newer software versions, it just opens it right up. So we'll click open, and then we'll go ahead and accept the license agreement. Now, once that's finished loading, you'll have to enter a password. And this is the same password that opens your computer on your account. So just remember that in case you're wondering what password it is. Go ahead and enter that and then press OK. Now, once that's finished, you'll get this prompt right here. And we're just going to go through this so that we set all the necessary permissions for Parallels to work properly. So we'll press Next. And then we'll press OK. And we'll press OK. One more time, and then we'll click Finish. So the final step to Parallels is activating your account as well as creating an account. Now if you already have an account, you'll just click right here but I do not have an account, so we'll click I am a new user, and then we're gonna follow these prompts right here. So you'll put in some basic information, and then you'll create a password, and you will create account. Now here you have to agree to the privacy policy in terms of use, and simply just press continue, and then I accept. Now this is a very important step. We have to activate this software uh, with the key that was sent to your email. So I'll pull up the email just so you guys can see. It'll look just like this here. And we're simply just gonna grab this entire product key, copy it, go back to Parallels, paste, and activate. Now if you see anything other than this little text box right here, 
be sure to reach out to us and we'll make sure we get that sorted for you. We'll press OK. And now we're gonna move on to the part where we're installing Windows 11. Okay, so we have Parallels installed and now we need to install Windows 11 to our Parallels. So here is how you do that. So first open up your browser of choice and navigate to this link which we will have posted on the screen right here. So we're gonna scroll down to where it says download Windows 11 disk image in parentheses ISO. So this is what we want and we're gonna select Windows 11 and download. Next we'll select the language we want, English, United States and confirm. And then we're just gonna click the 64-bit download button which will begin the download. And I'm just gonna fast forward to when this is finished downloading. We'll go from there. So I'll open up my parallels again. And this is the first window we see after we enter our key. So we're gonna go ahead and skip this. Now once it's finished downloading, you're gonna see a couple of options here in the parallels program. We're gonna select the middle one. It says install Windows or another OS from DVD or image file. And then we'll press continue. And we're gonna to wanna to select image file, which is what we just downloaded. So we'll hit select a file. Then we're gonna click on the Windows 11 that we just downloaded. Press open. Now again, we're gonna be prompted with a license key. And this is gonna be in your email from wherever you purchased your Windows 11. So we're gonna find that and then paste it in here and continue. So I've just pasted my activation key for Windows 11 and I'll press continue. And then this option here is entirely up to you. So whichever most aligns with what you're gonna be using this operating system for, we'll go with that. And I'm just gonna select productivity and continue. Now I'm gonna leave this page completely as is, and we're gonna press create. And then parallels toolbox for now, I'm just gonna skip this. And it's currently installing Windows, so I will see you guys when the installation is complete. Now one quick mention here, as this is installing, it's gonna be telling you to please keep your PC on and plugged in. So just make sure you have a power source uh, make sure that your computer doesn't die, don't turn it off. Uh, you just don't want to risk corrupting anything. And now our installation is complete for Windows 11. So I'll just press continue. We're going to accept the license agreement down in the bottom right. So now you should have successfully installed Windows 11 with Parallels on your Mac. All right, everybody. So that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Now, again, if you want to save a considerable amount of money off of genuine Microsoft software, be sure to check out Indigo Software Company. All the links will be in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we will see you guys in the next one.